Good morning, everyone. Let us discuss about Bayes Optimal Classifier in this session. So this Bayes Optimal Classifier will answer the questions like, what is the most probable hypothesis given the training data? Or what is the most probable classification given the training data? So here, the most probable classification of the new instance is obtained by combining the prediction of all the hypotheses that are given in the training data multiplied by their posterior probabilities. If the possible classification of the new instance can take on any value from Vj from the target set capital V, then the probability P of Vj by D that the correct classification of the new instance is Vj is given using the formula P of Vj by D is equals to sigma Hi belongs to the set of hypothesis P of Vj given Hi multiplied with P of which I given B. So this is the posterior probability as we know. The other one is the predictions of the hypothesis. So using this formula, we have to conclude P of Vj by D. Then the optimal classification of the new instance is the value Vj for which P of Vj by D is maximum. So that means for whichever outcome, the value of Vj by D is maximum that we are taking. So that means we will be applying an arc max on P of Vj by D. So that is the base optimal classification. Please bear with my handwriting. It is given as R max. We are applying it with various values of Vj from the target set. Summation of Hi belongs to the hypothesis set P of Vj by D. Sorry, Vj by Hi, the same formula, whatever we have used today. On that, we are applying R means P of Hi. So now, this method will maximize the probability that a new instance is classified correctly given the available data, hypothesis space, and the prior probabilities over the hypothesis. Let's work out this with this Bayes optimal classifier using an example. Let's go to the example. So here, the posterior probabilities of three hypotheses were given, H1, H2, and H3. And from the values that are given, we can say that H1 is the map hypothesis because it is having an higher value of map hypothesis. So let's take a new instance X, which is classified positive by H1, but it is classified negative by H2 and H3. So now using Bayes optimal classifier, what will you, what is your prediction about this new instance? What will you say about this new instance? So let us solve this using Bayes optimal classification. So the formula that we just worked out for the Bayes optimal classifier is R max Vj belongs to V summation of Hi over the hypothesis set H P of H I by D multiply with P of P J 
H. So now we should know what is H, what is VJ. Okay. So here H is the set of hypothesis H1, H2, and H3. Whereas VJ is the possible target values which are either a positive prediction or a negative prediction. Two classifications, either positive or negative. So from the given data, we can formulate the posteriori hypothesis of the three hypotheses. That is, we are getting this value, P of HI by D. So P of, let us take HI as H1 first, okay, H1 by D, which, were, which is given as 0 0.4. Then P of H2 by D, which is given as 0 0.3 and similarly P of H3 by D this is also given as 0 0.3 Now coming to P of Vj by H. So Vj is either positive or negative. So P of, let us first take Vj as positive, positive given H1. It is classified positive by H1 alone. Okay, so let us mark it as one. Then what will be the classification by the remaining? They were classified negative. So P of positive by H2 will be zero for these two hypotheses. H2 and H3. So here H1 is the math hypothesis. So it is ruling the world. Okay. So based on its value, others are adjusting their decision. So P of negative. Now Vj value we are changing. It is negative now. Negative. Even H1 is 0 because it is classifying it as positive. Whereas H2 and H3 are for classifying this as a negative one. So its probability value is a one. Okay, so now let us calculate the R max value. First, let us calculate for Vj equals to positive. So for this, let us calculate the value of this. So that is summation of P of positive by H I multiplied with P of H I given B. So that is H I by D. H1 by D is 0 0.4 multiplied with 1. Rest of the values are 0 because P of positive by H2 and H3 are 0. So anything multiplied with 0 is 0. So the resultant value is 0 0.4. So similarly, let us calculate for Vj is equals to negative. So once again, it is P of negative by H1 multiplied with P of H2 by Okay. So here the first value is 0. P of negative by H1 is 0. Anything multiplied with 0 is 0. The next terms are 1 into P of H2 by D. P of H2 by D is 0 0.3 plus 1 into that is P of negative by H3 is 1 multiplied with P of H3 by D is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.6. So now we are applying an R max on this. So whenever I apply R max, we will always take the maximum value 0 0.4 comma 0 0.6 0 0.6 is the 
maximum value. So this we obtained for Vj as negative. So that means what was the classification? Classification is negative. So that means the new instance x is classified as a negative example. If you want to normalize this, even you can perform a normalization, but it is not required. So from the Bayes optimal classifier, we can classify the given new instance as negative from the given data and the posteriori probabilities of all the three hypotheses. So here, you can see the usage of HMAP as well as the usage of Bayes optimal classifier. HMAP says H1 is maximum, but Bayes optimal classifier says X is a negative instance. Hope you followed the session. If you have any queries, please do post in the comment box.